Hey, what's up, guys? Oh man, been a hot minute, dude. Uh, apologize to the <laughs> to, <laughs> to uh, everybody. Uh, just been very busy, just super busy, dude. But uh, let's get to it. So this is a uh, AOK and uh, a haul. AOK from my boy, the Doom One Four Three. Much mahalo, brother. Hooked me up with uh, this nice, beautiful stack of uh, books, man. And uh, after this, I got some uh, some high grade George Perez. Uh, covers that I've been uh, collecting over these past months man so uh, let's get right to it man um so the doom man um hooked me up he know he he knew you know I, I'm into Wolverine Wolvie's my boy hooked me up with this nice man all this stuff is super high grade dude this nice uh, Delato obviously beautiful very uh nice and uh seductive uh, I like this one great great read too man uh, this is Dark Wolverine. Um, this one, uh, I'm not too sure who, who did this, but this is super sick. This is um, uh, Dakin, obviously with the with the uh, the tribal tat. Gorgeous, gorgeous friend, dude. And yeah, Doom, bro, I got your back, brother, dude. I'll hook you up once once I'm not busy. He even added this too, man. Uh, or, Original Sin uh, Spider-Man uh, number four, first. Uh, for silk, cool man, really nice, dude. Didn't have this one yet, dude. Awesome. And this one, this is the uh, Mark Brooks. I know. Uh, yeah, uh, shout out to the 9.2 crew, uh, the Doom, Freddy, Seeking Near Mint, Alex. Um, for without them, because I I collect original art. I love art, obviously. Um, but uh, whenever I do get the chance, or whenever I, I do have the money. <laughs> to to buy original art um you know i do so at comicartfans.com or um or i, I there i'm mostly there or you know uh, other uh, sites as well but um but yeah um uh, shout out to the 9.2 crew um they keep me up to date they they, they have a nice mix of you know uh, keys and variants and they they know their artists as well which uh, helps me keep, keeps me up to date with um you know uh, underrated or uh, you know not well-known artists that I can look up and find their original artwork dude so it's really cool like for example Mark Brooks too Mark Brooks is one this is I've been checking out his stuff man his shit is pricey dude as well as Sinkovich Sinkovich obviously what well, is love rogue this is oh man thank you bro uh, next Del Auto. I've been a lot of these books man I've been really really uh, wanting to get but uh, I don't know, man. It's read my mind, dude. I've, I've been really wanting to add this to my collection too. A nice Delato, nice uh, with the with the indigo and gold. Love this one. I like Delato's Wolvi. This one too, man. Venom number four. This the uh, the Juice Co variant. Love it, man. Oh no. Oh, it's yeah. Obviously after Bagley, obviously. But shit, I saw this on uh, yeah comicartfans.com, the the art website. Dude, this is the original painting is man some bucks dude some bucks <clears throat> uh j scott campbell uh red sonia i'm slacking on j scott campbell so much mahalo for the you know jsc uh book uh definitely gonna try and start some j scott campbell stuff man nice it's a nice red cover of domino um after reading that uh sex and violence mini with domino and wolverine that del Auto, uh run uh really give me a, a nice appreciation for domino well really uh <laughs> really nice uh this is i, I like it it's, it's it's a nice um nice contrast with the with the bold red and the uh the dark colors on, on the foregrounds really cool like this and uh adi granoff i believe very nice definitely uh one one to look out for um but yeah i mean i mean it's really good info the 9.2 crew uh much mahalo doom bro i got your back dude uh but yeah uh, great info with them um for example um it was what is it, lucio parillo lucio parillo or something like that um i think it was alex on his, one of his uh halls kind of got me into Lucio's work and you know his uh, techniques uh, uh, and how he uses um, I, I think it was uh, charcoal dust 
I think it's acrylics over charcoal dust and how it really added like another dimension of uh, uh, you know emotion to the, to the painting which is really cool I think it's a red sonium but anyways uh, much mahalo doom and uh, shout out to the 9.2 crew uh, so this is uh, the George Perez stuff that I've been I've been getting here and there like so, for good deals man these are super high grade man super high grade um, this one is uh, Avengers 161 this is obviously I, th I think the, the cover can speak for itself Ant-Man whoops everybody's ass in this so this is a nice cover dude it's Perez high grade dude um let's see I think it was like 12 bucks on auction like I, I lost two auctions before winning this one and they all went for a little over 10 bucks man around 11 12 to 16 something like that but this one's like about I think like 12 bucks 12 something uh, on auction it's a nice one. But yeah, shout out to yeah ETA Nick and a 9.2 crew. They you know gave me an idea to you know just start you know everybody you know once you have all the keys that you want or you know most of the keys that you want, you know what what else is there to collect? So um, got the idea from them. You know you know collect your you know favorite favorite uh, artist dude. And been doing a lot of research with Perez, and uh, and yeah. But uh, this is 163 from the same seller. I think, uh, shit, maybe like $2 or something like that. High grade though, super high grade. This one's an alright cover. Uh, this one is a really cool pickup. Super high grade again. Again, like $1.50 to 2 bucks. Uh, a piece, you just just, just uh, be patient and find it on auction. This is a nice, this is George Press cover and interiors. This is a nice Black Widow, dude. I, I really like this one. Uh, the, the the background, you know, trapped in the spider's web, dude. It's just pretty sick, dude. And this issue um, has a nice, nice uh, Black Widow splash page, dude. Um, that I'm, I'm probably not going to show because <laughs> uh, I'm in a rush. But yeah, Marvel Fanfare issue 10. High grade, dude. Uh, Marvel Fanfare 11. This is a nice one. Probably one of my favorites. One, favorite uh, covers. I like how Perez... I mean, he... The design is deliberate. I mean, everything is intentional, obviously. I mean, you gotta... Because if, if... It can be chaotic in the background. But... He uses uh, nice usage of Black Widow's kind of like a sil her, her, her silhouette to divide, you know, to divide it into sections to make it more pleasing, to make it more, um, uh, how do you call that, better to digest visually, you know what I'm saying? So you you, uh, you you need some uh, you know some visual rest or everything will be just too chaotic. But shit, dude, this is probably one one cover I wouldn't mind getting, dude. I mean, if if I had the cat, even if I had the money to 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 buy this original cover, dude, this, I mean, nobody would in their right mind would uh, you know let it go. I mean, just look at the detail, look at the detail in the background, dude. This was a nice one too. I think it's the first app. I think this one is the first app of this girl. This is this is Art Adams cover. Um, I think this is when Art Adams took over uh, on issue 13. But this is a nice one. Really showcases one of his many talents. You know, one of them being being very detail oriented with the bricks and the backgrounds, and the other is just his group shots are just awesome, dude. I mean. It's just, it's just nice when he sets it up. And Marvel Fan for this is uh, Art Adams. Let's see. These ones, I, I didn't finish bagging and boarding this one. This, this is okay. This is my second copy of uh, Wonder Woman number one. I think it's the first appearance of Ares. But, uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's uh, back and front cover. It's it just oh, super detailed again, dude. I don't want to show that one. Show the ones that I really, really like. But, oh, found this gem right here. Amazing Heroes issue 106. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. High grade again. 
Um, this one you can find for like under 10 bucks, dude. From the right seller in high grade. Um, I just like how it has that uh, kind of cylindrical symmetry with the portrait. And, and you have her, I mean, kind of on the right of the portrait just uh, being freaking badass, dude. With her armor... It's, I mean, armor, you got the, the arrows here with the lasso, it's, with the axe, it's freaking, it's detailed, it's, it's, this is gorgeous, dude, right here. And I love the way he draws his, uh, him, I guess it's him and John Byrne, I just love the way they, they draw their hair, dude, especially the women's hair, like John Byrne's, uh, She-Hulk run, you check out the hair, just gorgeous, just like, just like Perez, dude. So I got a bunch of those. Uh, just just collecting here and there for just uh, taking my time uh, finding good prices um, and let's show maybe one two more here I, I had finished bagging so busy but this is this is really cool I, I don't know it's probably her first appearance but a nice uh, another high grade uh, Wonder Woman pickup Perez pickup just just love it, dude. And that too. But, uh, I try to. I think it's getting too long. But, uh, yeah, dude, everybody, you know, hope everybody's doing good. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully when I start, when everything starts slowing down, start making more vids, especially start drawing and been slacking on, 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 on my painting too. But, uh, yeah, hope everybody's doing good. Mahalo, Doom143, bro, I got your back. And, uh, yeah, man, late.